whenever I get to make cinnamon rolls, it's always exciting because I enjoy the outcome. So today I'm going to be showing you a very easy cinnamon roll recipe that you're absolutely going to love once you try out the recipe. You'll find everything listed in the description box. So check out the ingredients and enjoy. So let's get started. So I'm going to add in sugar to my bowl. Next, I'm going to add in milk. To my milk, I'm going to add in instant yeast. And then using a whisk, I'm going to mix everything together. And then I'm going to let this sit for around five minutes until the yeast blooms. After around five minutes, this is how my yeast mixture is looking. And as you can see, there is a foam that is on top of the milk. So next, I'm going to be adding um, one egg. whisk once mixed i'm going to be adding in some salt and then i'm going to add in my flour using my hands i'm going to mix everything until a dough forms if you have a stand mixer you can use that to make your dough today i'm going to be using my hands when my dough is nice and small but it is still sticky i'm going to be adding in some margarine you can as well add butter if you have some so i'm going to need until the margarine is fully combined with the dough. After kneading for around 10 minutes, this is how my dough is looking. As you can see, the margarine is fully combined into the dough and the dough is stretchy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to form a ball just like that and then i'm going to add in a little bit of cooking oil spread the oil around once the dough is covered with the oil i'm going to be resting my dough for around one hour until doubled up in size so what you'll do you'll keep the bowl in a warm area so that the dough can double up in size if you if you if it is cold like right now you can create your oven a little bit or if you have been using your oven you can place the dough inside and then it will help it double up or cool yes. this is after one hour just look at that So I'm going to punch in to remove the excess air. Sprinkle a little bit of flour on my countertop and then I'm going to transfer my dough to my countertop. Need my dough a little bit. Once done kneading, I'm going to add some more flour on top. And then I'm going to use my rolling pin and roll out the dough to a big rectangle. Make sure to push the rolling pin. This will assist you to roll out your dough. Then you should have a baking tray like this one or if you don't have this one there's one which comes with the oven you can use that one to make your cinnamon rolls so i'm going to move over to this small bowl over here so to my bowl i'm going to add in some brown sugar this is a quarter cup of brown sugar if you don't have the brown sugar you can use regular sugar and then i'm going to add in cinnamon ground cinnamon then i'm going to mix until combined
Once done mixing and your cinnamon and brown sugar together with the margarine or butter is combined, I'm going to move over to my to my dough. It's not a perfect rectangle, but it's almost there. <laughs> so the next thing is to add my cinnamon mixture onto the dough. Once done, I'm going to use my palette knife and spread the cinnamon mixture on my dough. I find using a palette knife very easy because it helps spread the cinnamon mixture on my dough evenly. It's like spreading frosting on a cake. The best tool ever. Once done, I'm going to fold in my dough tightly forming a rod. Just like that. And then using a string or a tooth floss, you are going to cut your dough into even sizes. See how perfect the string helps me cut the dough. You can also use a knife when cutting the dough, but I usually find that a string gives you a very clean cut. The last one, I'm going to squeeze these two somewhere. Once done, I'm going to cover my cinnamon rolls and let the rolls rest for around 20 minutes until doubled up in size. While waiting, you're going to, to preheat your, your oven at 180 degrees Celsius. My cinnamon rolls are ready and I am ready to bake. So I'm going to bake my cinnamon rolls at 180 degrees Celsius for about 25 to 30 minutes or until you notice a golden brown color on top of your cinnamon rolls. So let's bake. The aroma of cinnamon rolls baking is incredibly delicious and I love how the cinnamon feels in the house when baking. So I always love making my cinnamon rolls. So my cinnamon rolls are looking so good. I love the golden brown color on top of my cinnamon rolls and the interior is very fluffy and moist. So I hope you try out this amazing, amazing cinnamon roll recipe at home. Bye.